Hey you guys, so today we are looking at this, which is, well, the agent, the agent, secret service from present toys, one six scale collectible figure. Um, and right down here it says the king's man. So I think we can maybe guess and from logos and things on here, what this may sort of be, but may not be, if you know what I mean. Yes. Um, there's code bar codes on the top there. Tell me, let me let me take it out of the bag. I left it in the bag. I like to show that these things come well packed. This was in a very tatty box, which I was a little bit worried when it turned up. It's obviously from the good old AliExpress. Uh, yes, the box, the box that it was in, the mailing box was terrible, um, and I was thinking, oh, it's going to be in such a state when I open the box, but. This box is, is perfect. So as we can see, the agent secret service, a picture of a gentleman there with the glasses. Lots of sort of spy related things on the box there. Some umbrellas, King's Man there, yeah. On this side we have present toys and on the back. Not for children under the age of three, the usual stuff. Be very gentle when opening the box. Fashion up and posing the product. Please keep the product dry. Yeah, usual stuff that you get on these boxes. And a picture of a dog down there. Yes. It's, what's his name, isn't it? Um, JB. It's JB. James Bond? No, Jack Bauer. Um, there is a slight dint in that side of the box there, and obviously it has the K logo at the top. So we are going to try very carefully, because it tells you to do this very carefully, to oh, oh, open the box. And we have some very nice um, protection there. Oh, right, that lifts off. And there is the figure right looking interesting right he's in there i'm hoping that the oh, his foot has already fallen off that's a good start um hmm. all right it's got a ball jointy thing there so it will just pop back on just give me a second while i quickly and hopefully fix his foot right i'm just going to pop him to one side. So inside here we have um, the hands. There's a pistol grip. There is another hand. And the hand. There's silica gel in there. So I'm hoping that underneath here, ah, there it is. There is. Take this out very carefully. The umbrella. His stand which does say Kingsman the Secret Service on it. It's kind of weird how they don't put it on the box, but then they'll put it on the stand. I suppose because you're not seeing the stand. There is also the gun and very carefully, yes, the glasses, right. So that's everything out of there. Yep, brilliant. Right, let's tilt this and have a little look. So we have the Kingsman stand which is very, very nicely done. Yeah, that's pretty cool. We have the glasses, which just black frames, slightly tinted lenses in there. And then we have the pistol, which is perfect. Now I know it has a name and number and rank and all that sort of stuff and I maybe should have searched for it but it is pretty accurate. I know, I think, the original gun is a Russian pistol with like some kind of shotgun thing stuck on the bottom. That does look... how accurate is that? I don't know. I'm going to have to have a close-up look on the film. Another reason to watch the film. I actually watched the film as soon as I ordered this, so yeah, it looks it looks good enough. It doesn't have the trigger um, 
not trigger, the hammer hand guard on the end there, which I think the one in the film doesn't have either. There's a little bit of silver on there as well. Yeah, I kind of like that. The umbrella has a little bit of gold on the top there, and the brown, and obviously, is pretty much just an umbrella with a little bit of kind of goldy colour on the end there. Yes. Right. We also have a plethora of hands. We have obviously a gripping hand for the umbrella, pistol hand, other hand, pistol hand, so you can put it in either hand and either hand can hold the umbrella. That which is nice because sometimes you have it like only pistol one side, only the other sort of thing. So yeah, that's, that's sort of made my day as they say. Right, let's see what the actual figure looks like. So, looking at that, I think that is... Oh, you can't see it. <laughs> there we go. I think that is a pretty good... A pretty good likeness of Eggsy. Yeah. Shall we say, if you showed me that, I would know who it is. It may be a little bit full of face. That's a Kingsman tie. That's really accurate. Nice little handkerchief in his top pocket there. The suit does feel very nicely made. It is very thick material. It has lining inside it. There is, oh, there is a belt under there as well, which is good. Full shirt. Yeah. Does look like he could wear his trousers a little higher. <laughs> but, yeah, I like that. Now, I don't want to move it around too much because... Sometimes out of the box he seems a bit stiff. He does look okay without the glasses, which is nice, because I was worried that there would be, sometimes you get with these kind of figures, little grooves. His face does look a little chubby, like a little bit, like he should be a little bit thinner of face, maybe. I don't know what you guys think. Let's do an extreme close-up. The collar does look a little high as well. Maybe I'll mess around with that and try and level it out a little bit. But it's not a bad face, I have to say. It does look like Eggsy. Maybe it's a an older version of it. Right, let's put on the glasses. Right, nervous much? Yep. So the glasses sit reasonably well. That's not too bad. They do they do look a little bit odd around the ear there. But that is a problem. That's why they should maybe have put a groove in his head. Just to give it that little bit more. So it slides on better. But it will do. Now I'm trying to figure out which way around. So the gun hand is that hand. So I'm going to go with that hand. Let's see if we can pop this. They are soft rubbery. Oh, it does have. I don't know if the other ones have it. No. But that one does have the. Ah, bet it's removable. Oh, that's cool. So that, that hand has a little gold ring on it. He doesn't wear the little the gold ring on that finger though, does he? It's on another finger. I'm now gonna have to watch the film again and figure out which finger that should be on. Because I don't think it's on his little finger. I think it's like that finger. Will it, will it move to that one? Not really. No. Well, that's another reason to watch the film. Again. Right, so we're going to get the pistol. I'm going to put the gun in his hand while I'm doing this, because then I always feel better if it's yeah, that's a nice. Already we've got a nice look to that. Yeah. Right, and we'll get figure out that hand. They, I have to say they do come off nice. They uh, they feel nice and smooth and they go on very smoothly as well. I'm 
looking at his shoes. His shoes are a little boring, I have to say. There's not a lot of detail in the shoes, but the suit is great. You've just not got to get his suit caught in things. I'm, I'm going to do that just because I always feel better when I'm working on this table. Right, so there we go. I mean, yeah, it's not the most exciting of outfits because it is literally just a guy in a suit. But I kind of like that. It's got, it, it, you know, that sort of thing, you know who it is. I'm going to move the suit the collar down a little bit, a bit on neck. Yeah, it's, it's one of those things you, with suits and collars and things like that, you mess around with them and get them to a point where you've, you're happy with them. Yeah, I kind of like it. Yeah. And that is a pretty cool pose. That's probably how he's going to be. Because remember, manneth maketh the man. While we're talking about things like that, don't forget, like, share, subscribe, please. It really, really does help the channel grow. Okay? So yeah, I am, I am pretty pleased with that. I think that is a nice looking figure. What do you guys think? Let me know in the comments what you actually think. I say the shoes are a little boring. They look kind of like Oxford's not brogues. pretty good. I know with some of these things they don't get all the details and things right because then nobody can do them for copyright. But I'm still I'm still pretty happy with that. I think that looks that looks great. And he's gonna look great on the shelf with what am I looking at from here? Ooh, who would I stand him with? We've got Indiana Jones up there. Slightly wrong time period. Um, Riddick, maybe? I'm going to stand him with Trevor. Going third out of five. Thank you to everybody that's watched that video. Well, that's one of my top videos. So, yeah. So, if you have enjoyed this video, like I said, hit that like, share and subscribe button. It really, really is a big help to uh, the channel. Yeah. So, I'm going to say thank you for watching. I hope you all have a great day. Hope you have a great night and me and uh, Exy here, we'll see y'all in the next video. Bye now.